This method can help answer key questions in the research of regulated exocytosis by allowing researchers to distinguish between the different modes of exocytosis in the living cell. The main advantage of this technique is that it is simple and requires minimal perturbation to the cells. Though this method can provide insight into mast cell exocytosis, it can also be applied to other secretory cells such as neutrophils and eosinophils. To begin, prepare a stock solution of 20x Tyrod's buffer according to the text protocol. Next, mix 3 mg of Feet's dextran powder with 3 ml of culture media. Filter the dissolved Feet's dextran with a cellulose acetate syringe filter unit. Then, add mouse IgE to a concentration of 1 microgram per milliliter. One day prior to imaging, aspirate media from a culture dish and replace it with 2 milliliters of trypsin EDTA solution B. Then, incubate the dish for 5 to 10 minutes. Once the cells have detached, add 2 milliliters of culture media to the dish to neutralize the trypsin. Then, use a hemocytometer to count the RBL cells. Adjust the volume of the suspension with culture media to achieve a concentration of 750,000 cells per milliliter. Next, add 10 microliters of the cell suspension to a chambered cover glass with fresh Feet's Dextran supplemented culture media and grow the RBL cells overnight. First, prepare a final Tyrod's buffer solution according to the text protocol.